for the Tropical Tidbit for Sunday, June 5, 2016. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service. While well, we're tracking what is now Tropical Depression 3 over the southern Gulf of Mexico here, the National Hurricane Center initiated advisories this morning after seeing this broad but closed surface circulation north of the Yucatan Peninsula, and this is substantially farther north from where it was yesterday. It was down here actually off the edge of your screen yesterday morning, but we talked about how a quick jump up into this area was likely today, and that did seem to occur overnight last night and this morning. So we now see this broad low in the southern gulf which remains disorganized with all of the convection mostly to the east of the center as you can see these cirrus clouds streaming out of the bottom left corner of the screen indicating southwesterly shear loft which is pushing all this convection off to the right hand side and the recon plane currently flying around in there is finding this very broad area of light winds and uh, fairly uniform surface pressures near the circulation this is indicating a large and fragile storm and uh, the intensification process is a long one for storms with this structure because this large circulation has to contract really before substantial strengthening can occur and that process does take a lot of time so that's good news for florida here as the system will have shear hampering it as well as its large structure however one thing we do have to watch for with storms like this is when we have deep convection on the eastern side sometimes this can act to focus vorticity in a local area and cause this larger circulation to kind of tuck in and reform into a smaller one underneath of the deep thunderstorms and this can allow a little bit more intensification and can also change the storm track as well by a few dozen miles. This does not always happen but it's something we'll have to watch for here uh, with a storm of this type. And we can actually see a little bit of a curling going on west of the tip of Cuba over the last several hours. This is a mid-level circulation associated with the deep convection. This does not extend to the surface, but it is something that could potentially be a catalyst for that surface center reformation as this system moves to the north. It's not guaranteed to happen, and this is something that's very difficult to predict, but we'll just keep an eye on it over the next 24 hours or so. Regardless of whether a surface relocation occurs, primary impacts uh, will remain largely the same over the same general area of the Florida Peninsula and parts of the Florida Panhandle as this lopsided storm moves to the northeast areas near and to the right of the track will experience very heavy rain, potential for tropical storm force winds, and we'll also be watching for the isolated tornadoes in the spiral bands to the northeast of the storm center. That's always a concern with uh, storms coming ashore. This is the official forecast track from the National Hurricane Center showing again this bend toward the northeast and out into the southwest Atlantic on Tuesday after making landfall sometime near Monday evening and uh, pretty close to the Carolinas and Georgia here but again this left hand side of the track is kind of the dry side and we'll see less severe weather than areas near and to the right of the landfall of this system and again some shifts in track are possible if the broad center decides to reform underneath the deep convection um, but such shifts will not change very uh, much of the area affected in florida by this large area of adverse conditions with winds of about 50 miles per hour forecast by the hurricane center as the storm makes landfall with higher gusts than that possible and again isolated tornadoes and some storm surge along areas of the coastline susceptible to that are also possible so we keep a close eye on tropical depression 3 as it may become Tropical Storm Colin at some point during the next day. Landfall expected at some point tomorrow night, but adverse conditions already beginning to affect Florida tonight and will continue over the next day to day and a half. Uh, so everyone stay safe. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.